In this tutorial, we'll look at how to make your drop-down menu scrollable. Okay, so I just have a simple example here. I copied the nav bar from their example and I modified it a little bit. So they have a drop-down in their example here in the documentation. Make sure you get the right documentation. You can just go to their website, getbootstrap.com, and you'll see the latest version. So when you do that, you'll be able to create a nav bar like this, right? So it's usually quite a few classes actually. So I don't recommend coding this from scratch. You're not gonna remember all of these classes. So just, you know, go to the documentation and copy them and then modify it to get exactly what you want. So we have these three uh, items, right? That's how it's structured. It's a list. And then we have three of these nav items. And the first one is a drop down. Right now, what can happen in a drop down is that you get a lot of items and you don't want to have like a super long drop down, right? So, if I add more items here, right? If I just add more uh, actions here, I'm gonna get a very long drop down. This is not what we want. We want to restrict the height here. So, what you can do is you can just select the drop down menu in your own custom CSS, right? That's the, that's bootstrap. Sometimes you have to write some custom CSS. So it's really important that you have mastered CSS and also JavaScript itself. Those are really the underlying fundamentals. Um, so check out my courses on them. If you want to take them to an advanced professional level, the links are in the description. But what you can do is you can select the drop down menu. You can restrict the height. You can say the height should be at most 200 pixels. When you do that, you can already see that the styling looks different. But now there is still some overflow here. So what you want to do with the overflow is you want to say that the overflow in the vertical direction here should not be hidden, but it should be scroll, right? So we should be able to scroll. And then this is what you get. And in CSS, by the way, these days, you can also style the scroll bar, but that's a topic for another day. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.